Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Black Ensemble Theater's 12th Annual Summer Series with all plays written by the Black Playwrights Initiative. This week's series is produced by the one and only Jackie Taylor, founder and executive director of the Black Ensemble Theater. My name is Daryl Brooks. I'm the producing managing director of the Black Ensemble Theater, your host for this week's worth of readings. And I also had the pleasure of co-directing the readings with the very talented Michelle Renee Bester. We have to give a very heartfelt thank you to the National Endowment of the Arts for making this series possible. Now, after the readings, make sure you stick around because we'll be going live with the playwright and some of the actors so you can give some, of, some feedback. That is very important to our process. And now, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the Black Ensemble Theater's BPI production of The Laundromat, written by Viola Bennett. What's up? Nothing. Just was calling to ask you out on another date. I'm so glad you called first. I thought about holding out a day or something, but I really had fun on Saturday. Me too. Too bad the Bulls lost. Yeah, well, they was playing Golden State. Of course they lost. Well, with how successful date number one went, I'm excited to see what's in store for date number two. My friends warned me I was setting the bar too high with Bulls tickets. They were pretty good seats, too. Hey, they were sexing 200 and right by the bull's tunnel. So they must have cost you a pretty penny, huh? No, no. Those were a work perk. Got them free. Didn't spend a dime. So that sets the bar lower, right? If you're telling me you can get free tickets to basketball games, that sets the bar even higher. So if I told you I paid 200 bucks for our tickets, does the bar lower? Mm-hmm. Your friends are right. You set the bar a wee bit high. So, what do you have in mind for date number two? You know what? These are modern, feministic times. How about you plan a second one? I've only been in Chicago for two weeks. The only place I've been to was that crappy bar where we met. Hey, the bar can't be that crappy if you found a nice guy like myself there. Point is, I don't know anywhere to go, so planning is on you. Fine. Are you free tomorrow? Ooh, Tuesdays are worst for me. Uh, Wednesday, I'm good. Wednesday and Thursday, I'm working till 2 a.m. Uh, Friday? I'm going to a Second City show with my classmates and most likely drinks after. And I'm working Saturday. I don't want to wait till Sunday to see you again. Me either, but looks like we'll have to. At least it gives you time to plan. What about tonight? It's almost 10. So we could grab a quick drink at least or something. I was just about to do my laundry. Really? Well, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but if I don't do laundry tonight, I will literally have no clean clothes to wear tomorrow. Even what I'm wearing now is semi-questionable. Well, I need to do some laundry too. Okay, so... So let's go to the laundromat and do some laundry. Like, together? Yeah, and we both want to see each other, and we both need clean clothes. Two birds, one stone. But it's laundry. Yeah, I know it's a serious step down from a Bulls game, but anything would be. You could get a glimpse of my unmentionables. If they are unmentionable, why are you mentioning them? This is like boyfriend-girlfriend level stuff. Well, if you want to wait till Sunday... No, no, I, I don't. So? So, what laundromat are we going to? I have one in mind. I'll be at your place in 20. Can't wait. That cashier lady didn't have to be so rude. You gave her a credit card. What was she supposed to do? I don't know. I've never been to a laundromat before. That doesn't surprise me. I knew you were bougie. I'm not bougie. I've just been lucky. Every place I've lived always had a washer and dryer. Like I said, bougie. Well, for the first 23 years, that place was my parents' house. Oh, you grew up in a house? Stop. 
Did it have a big backyard and everything? Yeah, but the swing set and the trampoline. And the pool, right? Oh, no pool. Just a slip and slide. The only slip and slide I had was a tub. <laughs> you joke too much. Oh, look, that table just opened up. Dang, you move quick. The tables are valuable here, and now we will comfortably be able to watch a movie while we do our laundry. You're telling me you brought your own entertainment? And this last minute date has to live up to the first one slightly. Yeah, I hope you like Kung Fu. Kung Fu? Are you serious? Love it. So entertaining. I think we should get our clothes in the washer first. Obviously. And uh, see the wonderful proximity this table is to the three open washers? I can't believe how packed this place is. It's so late at night. Late night laundry is prime time. Guess so. But I bet no one else is here on a date. That's what makes this even better. I like how you are always so positive. Holy shit. Is that the tamale guy? Who's the tamale guy? He's just a guy that literally goes around late at night selling tamales out of school with. That sounds sketchy. No, no, they are the best. Well, I've never had a tamale before. Well, you've never had a tamale before? Oh, now I definitely got to get some. Sit down, get comfy. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, Miss Jordan. Fresh from the tamale guy, I bring you delicious tamales. Cool. And I just pushed start on yours and my load of laundry. Wait, like you touched my dirty laundry? Well, not technically. I just dumped the whole basket in at once. I hope that's okay. That's how I do it. So perfect. Good. I didn't want to overstep, but felt awkward and selfish only starting my clothes. All good. I can't believe you never had a tamale before. I've always stuck with tacos, quesadillas, and burritos for my Mexican cuisine. All right, well, here's your tamale. I hope you like uh, orange soda. Honestly, don't like soda much, unless it's root beer. Oh, sorry. I, I can hit the vending machine for some water. Oh, it's fine. I bought a water bottle, so I'm good. Oh, nice. What's in the tamales? Kept it safe and went with chicken. And when it comes to meat... Sorry, vegans, but I will eat all the tasty animals. Same, same. So what do you think? It's good, but it needs some hot sauce. Oh, man, I forgot to grab the green sauce. Oh, it's okay. I always have hot sauce on me. You pack hot sauce? I grew up in the burbs. Of course I pack hot sauce. <laughs> okay. Oh, now that we're enjoying some of the best tamales, it's time to enjoy the best kung fu movie ever. Action movies are so boring to me. Kung fu movies are ten times better than straight up action flicks, and the fight scenes are the best. My freshman year of college, the first guy I met was obsessed with manga and anime. I'm not kidding you, I got stuck for an hour and a half listening to him ramble on. Well, I am also into manga and anime, but they aren't comparable to kung fu movies. Oops. I made it awkward bringing up another guy. Did you want to date him? No. His love for Asian culture extended into Asian women. So. Cool. Then moving on. Without further ado, Enter the Drag. Next time I get to pick the movie. I don't do that Twilight crap. Oh, nor do I. Dark comedies are my jam. Biting humor, social satire and commentary, and twists you don't see coming. So what's your favorite movie? Well, not a dark comedy, just dark. Black Swan. Okay, that movie was legit. Good. I guess we have some taste overlap. Now, quiet. The intros are always very important. Pause it. I gotta pee. Oh, you don't want to miss anything, huh? I just hate being confused or lost. <sighs> I can't believe these clothes aren't dry yet. Hey, what's up? Make it quick. Nah, I'm already out. 
on a date, but she just went to the bathroom. Only reason I asked the phone. The girl I met at that bar the other night. Yeah, the one with the nice ass. Uh, don't make me tell you. Please, man. Fine. Bubbles land laundromat. I'm not... It's not that crazy. Whatever. I want to get off the phone. Don't want to catch me talking and thinking I'm being rude or talking to some other chick. All right, I'll let you up tomorrow. All right, have fun. There was no soap in the bathroom. No surprise there. Luckily, I have some hand sanitizer in my purse. No surprise there either. I just carry all the essentials. And what's the most random thing you got in there? Oh, nothing is random. Everything is very organized. I have a tissue pack, hair ties, comb and brush, a pen, a pencil, highlighter, birth control, allergy meds, and a corkscrew. A corkscrew? You wouldn't believe the number of places I've been where someone has brought wine, but there wasn't a corkscrew in sight. So now I already keep a corkscrew on hand. Did you have all this stuff on you at the bar? Oh no, my bar purse is just the basics. Wallet, phone, and keys. You have a bar purse? I have a bar purse, a going out purse, a work purse, and a shopping purse. You definitely don't give off the high maintenance vibe. I'm not high maintenance, just organized. It takes me all of 15 minutes to get ready every morning. Come on, even I take at least 20. Wow, I didn't realize I was dating someone so high maintenance. Uh, not high maintenance, but it does take a little effort to look this good. Mm. I'm going to get the clothes from the dryer. I just checked. They're still wet. This is unacceptable. It's past midnight. I'm going to be exhausted at work tomorrow. You like what you do? I'm a lowly intern, and they treat me like a lowly intern, but it's a stepping stone. I definitely want to be a radio personality one day. Why radio and not like TV news or a talk show host? Well, I'm super into music. And sure, I get to talk to big time musical guests with TV stuff, but radio would be all about the music and all those indie bands no one has ever heard of. Plus, I'll get paid to go to Lollapalooza. Oh, so is that what attracted you to me? But when you told me you played piano, it definitely got me interested. I don't get to play as much as I like, but every now and then I get scheduled to play a piano bar or be in the house band for a theater show or jazz club. Do you think you would ever pursue it full time? No, it's more of a hobby now. Plus, I got a good thing going at the hotel. That's awesome. Wouldn't call it a dream job by any means, but there is room for growth. I would love to see you play. <laughs> in time, you will. Have you ever written a song for someone? Oh, no, not going there. <laughs> I don't want to get into trouble on a second date. So that's a yes. That's a getting into past relationships is more fourth or fifth date territory. Is that so? I assume it's why you have that dumb no kissing rule. Oh, it's not dumb. It weeds out the assholes and the guys who only want me for my body. You've never had a guy stick around until the fourth date just to ghost you after the sex? Uh, past relationships are fourth and fifth date territory, so guess you have to wait for that answer, too. <sighs> Let's get back to the movie. At this rate, we might be able to finish it. Dry my clothes, goddammit, you lousy piece of machinery. Dry! You okay? Oh, Andre. You know they can throw us out for that kind of stuff. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm frustrated too, but let's not kick the dry ass. This is definitely not the impression I wanted to make. It was funny walking in on you like that. I'm so embarrassed. Don't be. Actually, it's uh, kind of a relief. It's a relief you caught me yelling at the dryer. It means you're finally starting to be real with me. Oh, I don't know how to be fake with people. But the first day, and even this one, you've been very rigid, like you were afraid to act a certain way around me. Have these strict guidelines, like I'm... Um, only in Chicago for a couple months, so this can't get serious, and I don't kiss until the fourth date. You wouldn't even let me pick you up. We had to meet at the United Center. 
Uh, you were a guy I met at the bar. I wasn't ready for you to know where I live yet. Hey, I'm just saying. It's nice to see you let your guard down. So you find my horrible display endearing? Extremely endearing. Okay. You are just as weird as me. Never claimed I wasn't weird. <laughs> well, I put another 20 minutes on the dryers. Good. There's only 20 minutes left of the movie, and I brought back salty goodness to see us through mm -hmm. it. Finally, clean and dry clothes. I love the feeling of clothes fresh from the dryer. Yeah, it's nice. Now, the fun part. Folding. You mean you're actually going to fold? I'm staying in the tiniest room that barely has room for my suitcase and twin-size air mattress. So yes, I'm going to take advantage of this beautiful folding table. You like folding laundry? I hate wrinkled clothes, and I don't have iron or money for dry cleaning, so folding is my only option. Okay, guess we're folding clothes. How else did you expect a date like this to end? Honestly, this date turned out pretty great. Aside from the crappy dryer, it was. But the crappy dryer gave us a whole extra hour and a half together. And let us finish the best kung fu movie ever. I don't hate on Bruce Lee. <laughs> Actually, I did enjoy it. See? And I got to learn a lot about you. Like what? Like you're a boxer guy. Put down my underwear. <laughs> I'm sorry. It got mixed up with mine somehow. <laughs> Are you folding my underwear? It felt like the right thing to do. Uh, now it's only fair I see a pair of yours. Oh no, I only touched yours by accident. But the folding was a choice. I want to see your underwear. If I'm not going to kiss you until our fourth date, do you actually think I'm going to let you see my underwear? Ah, uh, you're such a tease. <laughs> you don't really think that, do you? No. Good. I know it's weird, the whole kissing thing. It's weird, but I do get it. Kind of like it. Really? I like the challenge. I don't want you thinking it's like that either. Why not? Because I feel like challenge is cold for prude or uptight. I just value intimacy and don't want to hop into bed with every guy I go on a date with. So you've never had a one night stand? Nope. Have you? Contrary to what you may think, I don't hop into bed with every girl I go on a date with, so, nope. Oops. Oh, wow, you just won't stop, huh? I won't fold them this time. Good, plus you folded them the wrong way anyway. I folded them wrong? Yeah, you fold them like this. Ah, look at those creases. <laughs> I like my method, thank you. Mm. I'm sorry. I can pull yours the same way. I like my method, thank you. So now that the bar has been appropriately lowered. Who says the bar was lowered? If anything, it raised the stakes. How? Because you managed to take a last minute chore and make it a very enjoyable experience. I think you need to get higher standards. Oh, my standards are just fine. <laughs> fine. So, if you are up for date number three, I'm playing a piano bar on Saturday. I mean, I'd be working, but kind of able to talk and be done with my stint at 11. We could grab a drink afterwards. Sounds like fun. So, even after touching my drawers, I have been deemed worthy of a third date. Honestly, it's the boxers that tip the scale. I mean, clean, no holes, or runs. Oh, wow. You really examined him, huh? I'm very observant. But, um, here's a parting gift, Andre. What? No lace? And is that Tweety Bird? I think so. You don't know? They're, they're your underwear. Oh, those aren't mine. I found them folded on the table. <sighs> oh, you nasty. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Man, you keep playing like this. What? I could wind up marrying you. <laughs>